Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to today's video guys. And today guys, I'm going to go ahead and be showing you how to transfer data from RunKeeper to Strava. This is a very simple thing to do guys, so make sure to watch this quick and easy video till the very end and follow my steps correctly so you can make sure this works the same for you and that you can do this yourself. But yeah guys, let's get straight into it. So guys, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up the official Strava application on your mobile phone if you haven't already. And after opening a Strava, guys, you want to go ahead and log into your account. So to be able to transfer data to Strava, you will need an account. So go ahead and log into one or create a new one if you do not already have one. And after logging into your account, you'll be greeted by this main page on Strava, which is the home page where you can see your weekly snapshot, you can see all the options you can access and so on. So let's go and see how to transfer data from RunHipper. So basically guys, as you can see on the official Strava website, right here, moving your activity history from RunKeeper to Strava, here it gives us the detailed steps that we need to do. So basically guys, what you want to do is in your RunKeeper account, hover over the settings icon in the top right corner and click on account settings guys. There you will be able to see the options on the left side of the page and where you want to click export data. After clicking export data guys, you want to select the data range that you want to export and after that it will create a file that you can download. After that, you can go ahead and log into your account on Strava as I already told you and then in Strava you can go ahead and click on upload in the top right of any page and then from file and then you can go ahead and find the file you want to upload. So after completing that guys, it will automatically add the file to your Strava and after that you can get started with transferring the data and using that data. But yeah guys, basically that is it how to do it. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. See you guys, thanks for watching, take care and bye.